In this learning dialogue, we will discuss MOOCs analytics dashboard. IIT Bombay X or IIT Bombay online platform to offer the MOOCs, it is called IIT Bombay X, it is the platform by edX. Last week, we saw the data from IIT Bombay X platform, we saw the raw data we collected. Will this week, we will see how this data is used for the dashboard analytics. The edX platform also offers open edX insights that provides the analytics based on the data collected from edX platform MOOCs and it gives us the insights by using open edX insights platform. Before showing the MOOCs analytics dashboard, I would like you to think about this activity. So, what data are important to show in the dashboard from the IIT Bombay X MOOC and how do you represent? You can pause this video while you answer these questions. After that, you can resume the video to continue. Based on the data we collected, we shown in the last class, we can talk about following set of data. Our please remember this following set of data is for the edX platform. If you are talking about Coursera platform or NPTEL platform, the collection data collection, the data you collect might be totally different. You can collect even more data. But these are the general data collected in the MOOC platforms. One is enrollment. How many users enrolled in your course? What is the enrollment status over the weeks? Are they continuing or are they dropping out? The next one is engagement. Are they engaged? How the how they engage with the video? And the performance in the LEDs, LBDs, or some other forums, or the post test, pre test, or certificate course or assignments. Also, the engagement is the learner engagement is more or less. We look at the MOOCs insights from the insights.iitbombayx.in. This site uh, I have restricted access, so I am going to log into my email ID, then I will show the insights from the IIT Bombay X MOOC courses. We are looking at the IIT Bombay edX insights web page. We are talking about a course called pedagogy for effective use of ICT for school teachers. This analytics is only for this particular course. There are four type of things like uh, enrollments, engagement, performance and learners. If you talk about engage enrollments, you will have the value like activity, demographics and good geography. So, daily learner enrollment over the period of time. The enrollment is less just because the students do not enroll and they can take a course directly. It is shown using the stack chart. Here you can see the end users age, the education, the gender. However, this data is optional if the user enters this data then only it will be displayed otherwise it will not be displayed. The more importantly the I open edX insights offers you also the tabular form of data. Data visualization is not just uh, showing the data in a graph, it also should have a data so that users can use those data. When you look at the geography, the most participants from India and the few participants from Tanzania. And there are one participant from United States. Let us look at the engagement. Here you can see there are lot of active users initially, the course is only offered for 4 weeks. So, there are lot of active users on a first week and the active users was reduced and there is some active users continued, then number of active users dropped after fourth week gradually. So, the active learners is shown in this card chart, also this chart indicates how many problems they tried, how many problems they tried to answer it and this green color indicates they watched the video. Active users is they logged into video, they looked at the page or combination of these two, this represents the active users. But really speaking how many videos they watch, the students who are watching the video is gradually reduced over the weeks. 
if you look at the week's video data, how many videos has been watched by the user for over the week. For the module 1, average completion time is 73 percent of participants or the students enrolled in the course completed watching the video. It is a very good retention rate. So, this shows that for each module that is a 4 weeks module, this is a pre course module for each module what is the percentage of users watch this particular video. As I mentioned in order to collect this kind of data we need to collect each users uh, watching time, then we need to compute the average then represent the data in such a format a stack chart format. Let us look at the performance, there is only one performance knowledge quiz and reflection quiz and assimilation quiz and resource creation assignment. There are like a four different performance and each performance has the own weightage of marks and the students uh, performance in each of this is shown here. Here we have seen the data, we have seen the data of the learners, the data of who is doing the course and how they interact with the video and things. From this you can ask lot of this question, how many learners are in my course? This can be answered by looking at the particular chart. So, these are the questions you want to ask from the data which can be viewed directly from the graphs. So, the researchers first start with lot of data then they want to ask how many users my course, how many users watch this particular video. If the video retention rate is less for a particular module you want to introspect to why that particular video has less number of retention rate. That means, why that particular module or particular video has less people completing full video, why they drop out in between. The topic may be easy or the content is too tough, we do not know. But we need to understand what happened in that particular video content. In order to do that we need to introspect and look at the data and why the users are dropping there, or which minute they dropped, what is the minute they dropped, how far they watched. This will give you the diagnostic analytics to understand the data why the student is dropping. So, the first step in data analytics is that trying to collect data then show the data in a visualization or data visualization.